Welcome everyone, I'm Naresh Rao, Product Manager for Autonomous Network Operations at Google Cloud. And it's a real pleasure to be here today. We are going to dive into a topic that's not just relevant, but absolutely crucial for the future of telecommunications, autonomous network operations. I am incredibly excited to be joined by true leader across cloud and technology transformation, Anil Jain, our Global Managing Director for Strategic Industries. Anil, thanks for being here to share your insights. We often talk about the rapid pace of change for telcos. From your vantage point, what's driving this immense pressure and the urgent need for autonomous network operations for telcos today? Thanks, Naresh. It's a real pleasure to be here. I think you're asking a really important question. From my perspective, overseeing a, a number of strategic industries for Google Cloud, I've seen firsthand the immense pressure companies across all sectors are under. This is a pressure to transform how they work and how they address increasing consumer expectations. Now, this is especially true for telecom companies because they're grappling with escalating costs, increasing network complexity from 5G, edge, and cloud transformations, and the constant demand for always on, always performant connectivity. The traditional reactive approach to network management is simply unsustainable. This is precisely why the need for autonomous network operations has become so urgent. It's about moving from human in the loop reactive operations to proactive, self-serve, and self-healing networks. The TM Forum has been a strong advocate for this shift, articulating a clear vision for autonomous networks. Their work on defining architecture, maturity levels, and best practices provides a crucial blueprint for the industry. They envision a future where networks require minimal human intervention, which will lead to enhanced agility, operational efficiency, and of course, exceptional customer experiences provided through highly resilient infrastructure. Now we've actively aligned Google Cloud's autonomous network operations framework with that vision. That's perfectly put, Anil. It is truly is about shifting from reactive firefighting mode to a proactive predictive one. We see it in every conversations with our customers, the desire for that lights out operations. And Google has a unique story here. When we talk about leveraging our planet scale network, what specifically does that mean for Telco embarking on their autonomous networks journey? How does Google own experience become a tangible benefit for them? I, I think that is uh, a great question. Uh, Naresh, it's, it's a core part of our value proposition. Google's own experience in operating one of the world's most advanced and resilient autonomous networks for over 25 years is a huge differentiator. We've built and scaled a global network with more than 200 points of presence, millions of miles of fiber, and dozens of subsea cables, all powered with AI at scale. Telcos can directly benefit from this battle-tested, hardened expertise and infrastructure. So our autonomous network operations framework allows communication service providers to build scalable self-managing networks by integrating our powerful AI, advanced analytics, and robust infrastructure. And this means that telcos can leverage the very same underlying technologies and principles that enable Google to provide services like Gmail and YouTube to billions of users around the world with 99.99% reliability. It allows them to transform operations, enhance service reliability, and unlock new value by turning fragmented data into actionable insights. Yeah, it's really about bringing Google's best practices and proven technology to the telecom space. As the product lead for an autonomous network operations framework, I've been incredibly excited about how we have built this. We have worked to ensure it's not a set of tools, but truly differentiated solution that addresses the unique challenges of the telcos head on. Niresh, this is certainly your area of expertise. So maybe you could share a bit about how specifically our core technologies like Spanner Graph, BigQuery, Vertex AI, and of course, Gemini, set our autonomous network operations framework apart in the market. Sure, Anil. Our framework isn't just a collection of tools. It's a tightly integrated AI-ready system designed for rapid time to value, drawing directly from how we manage Google's own network. Our autonomous network operations framework leverages key Google technologies for network autonomy. Cloud Spanner creates a real-time, consistent digital twin for global networks, tracking billions of data points and precise analysis 
and what if simulations. BigQuery then handles massive scale data analytics, processing exabytes of network telemetry for insights that feeds autonomous decision making and AI. For intelligence, Vertex AI and Gemini, the build, train, and deploy custom AI models, enabling use cases like graph rag for accurate, actionable AI responses. Finally, an agentic framework on Vertex AI facilitates true autonomy with anomaly detection, troubleshooting, and healing agents, enabling full closed loop automation. This deep integration differentiates our autonomous network operations framework, offering a proven path to autonomous operations. Nourish, that was a fantastic breakdown. I think it's really clear that the combination of Google's operational heritage, along with these cutting edge integrated technologies from Google Cloud creates a compelling and truly differentiated offering. Thank you for elaborating on how our framework empowers telcos to build the zero touch self-healing networks of the future. I think this launch marks a significant leap forward for the entire global telecom industry. Thank you all for joining us in our conversation today about autonomous network operations. We're very excited about the framework we've launched here at Google Cloud and are looking forward to joining with you on your transformation journey. To find out more, please follow the link below in the description.